In this video, I'm going to show a kind of grass that has overtaken my lawn. And now it's around September of 2020. And uh, you can see that this grass has kind of a bamboo-like leaves and it has uh, kind of stocky so it is it is growing leaves and also you can see that there are flowers or there are seeds coming so it goes into seeds there are some longer ones and you can see the seeds right there and you will see over here it has taken over areas of my lawn whereas some of the other areas where i have good grass uh, it still has not gone to that place yet so this one is called the japanese stilled grass and it is an annual grass so they will die down in the winter and again grow back next year from the seeds the problem is it is a weed so it's going to grow and that's the bad part and it was going to take over my lawn if i don't control it the good thing is they don't have deep roots so it has very shallow roots so if you pull it out it will come off and it will come out with the root so there is no roots in there going to be so the best way to take care of this is to pull by the roots uh, though it is kind of a, a difficult task if you have a lot the other thing is you don't want it to get too tall because once it's have seeds like this I have already let it grow taller because it was too hot and even mowing is not going to help because this stilt grass is going to still produce some seeds and it will seed for the next season the Japanese stilt grass was used back in the 1900s to send uh, products as packing material. So these, you can see that this, when they're dried, they will pack very well. And that's how it got into the United States. Now, one thing you will see is the leaves are so aggressive or big that it takes over the grass underneath it. And it uh, blocks the sunlight going to the, the grass underneath it. So it will overtake your lawn and in my case it has and the grass underneath it has has been dying um, because of these leaves blocking the sunlight so if i take it off and reseed it that's the solution and if i have a lot of thick grass these will not be able to grow or the seeds will not germinate next season now, if you have a lot of stilt grass, one way is to use some herbicide. And the ones that are very useful for stilt grass is uh, something like glyphosate. So glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup. But the problem with glyphosate is it will kill your grass too. So if you have patches like I have, patches of stilt grass, and I want to kill only the stilt grass, then glyphosate is not going to be a good option. The other option is product like Acclaim or Milestone, and I will put some links in my video, but those are kind of expensive. So you have to uh, weigh out whether you want to spend that much on killing the stilt grass or weed with your bare hands. Here you can see in this area, since the grass was not at all thick and this kind of overtook my area some of these areas where my grass is thick it has not gone there yet so before i start reseeding for the fall i'm going to take care of the stilt grass the other good thing about the stilt grass is it seeds doesn't propagate a lot so it's not going to go over and fly through in the wind or be taken care airborne in the wind and so it's very localized so if you look at my areas where i had let it grow for the summer and i should have taken it 
out I'm going to take it out now so you can see in patches so it's not a lot but the problem will be when I have a lot combined with the other grass so before I mow the grass I'm going to pull these by hand and it's going to come out very well you can see my other grass has been affected by this still grass growing so fast so I'm going to do this and instead uh, I will start weeding by hand and taking care of it before I mow because the still grass is, is longer and I, if I grab it by the uh, the longer stem I will be able to pull it hope that helps and if you still want to use uh, herbicide or something that will kill with a chemical which uh, I don't suggest if you can because not only it's expensive it's also not good for uh, spraying it as well as not good for you as well so if you can just weed by hand as much as you can they will die down and also next season you can put it put down a pre-emergent herbicide which will uh, which will actually prevent the seeds from sprouting so that's the other option hope this helps subscribe to my channel and you will find the other videos on weed control in grasses and I have some uh, other uh, weeds that I have controlled using 2,4-D and combinations of 2,4-D and, and other chemicals.